Hello, Psych2Goers! We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. It's hard to talk about things. That's why sugarcoating exists. Pain, in fact, makes some of the world's greatest actors because they know which face to put on to hide it. As we go through life, we accumulate more difficulties along the way. It's impossible not to feel jaded at times and we may often find ourselves on the verge of giving up. But not all hope is lost. Here are five things to remember when your life is falling apart. Number one, pain is temporary. It might not seem like it right this second, but everything you're going through right now will pass. Even the heaviest rainstorms eventually find calm. Whether you're going through a breakup, job loss, or the death of a loved one, things will slowly stabilize again. You may not always fully recover from traumatic events depending on the severity of them, and grieving is never a linear process. Some days you may plunge back into the familiar darkness and wonder when things will stop feeling heavy. But no matter how brief, subtle, or unpredictable, there will always be moments of light you'll find in between. Sometimes, pain doesn't listen to our cries for instant gratification. Instead, it asks for patience. The heart is a strange place. Just as much as it knows how to drown, it also knows how to endure. Number two, realize that you have what it takes to turn things around. We don't get to choose where we come from, but we can still manage to do things to take us where we want to be. If you find yourself in a dead-end job or don't feel as passionate about what you're studying, know that the situation won't change unless you make one. Sometimes it may take more than a few tries until you feel satisfied. But people are often scared to make changes because they're afraid of disappointing themselves if things don't work out. Admitting it isn't easy. We've become a world driven by results more than giving ourselves credit for the risks we do take to better our lives. Don't focus so much on what may fall further apart but rather on what can fall into place. Number three, allow what you can't control to just be. It's great to take responsibility for your own actions and be proactive. This is how you can live an active, meaningful life when you strive for your goals and dreams. But it's important to recognize that there is only so much we have control over. Instead of analyzing the things we think we can prevent or taking extreme precaution to make sure something doesn't happen again, we should assess what degree of control is healthy. There will always be some things, no matter how carefully we plan, that happen unexpectedly, and the only thing we can do is wait it out. Number four, you're not alone. When your problems feel unbearable, it's easy to become attached to them and focus only on your pain. But if you take a good look around, you'll come to realize that you're not alone. Someone else in this world is also still up at 3 a.m. because their thoughts are consuming them. Someone else, just like you, is trying hard to make it through another day without collapsing. People aren't robots. That's why we face all the confusion and hurt, but also the happiness and victories for times we never thought we'd get through, but we did. Number five, it's okay to break, but when you're ready, starting over is always worth it. You have to be in the right mindset to start over. And if you're not there yet, it's okay. Continue breaking until there's nothing left to break. But when the breaking gets old, a switch will turn on inside of you, and you'll want to get off the couch and face the world again. Things have a habit of coming around when we least expect it. These are the best coincidences that we have to run with when they show up. What do you do to keep holding on? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our Psy Pendant, T-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching.